Hi, I'm Ann McGuire. This is Silver Lining, where we find the good within the bad. Today's topic, small business closures. So let's hop right into it. Now, uh, here in Wyoming, as of recently, uh, certain small businesses have been uh, given the ability to reopen, such as uh, barbershops, salons, and hairdressers. However, uh, restaurants and movie theaters still have to remain closed for the time being uh, due to safety concerns. Now, uh, personally, I uh, definitely miss our uh, small businesses. Uh, I miss going out to eat at restaurants, I miss going to the movies, and I definitely miss getting my hair cut. It's about uh, t been two months since I got my uh, last trim, and I am ecstatic that I finally get to have another haircut again, so shout out to my hairdresser for that exciting news. Uh, however, what we still have to see is that these uh, hairdressers and these barbers that are allowed to open still have to have uh, very strict uh, social distancing rules in place, and there are certain small businesses, like I said earlier, that still can't open at all. Um, so let's look at the silver linings now that I've uh, addressed the problem. There are two uh, in today's episode, the first being that uh, this situation has really taught us how important these small businesses are to our community. Uh, frankly, without uh, these small businesses, we don't uh, have the ability to call ourselves a community. Without these restaurants, or without movie theaters, or without uh, barbers and uh, hairdressers, without these small businesses that are run by the people in this community, it becomes harder to feel like we live in a community, or it makes it harder to feel a sense of uh, brotherhood. And I really think that after uh, we can return to a semblance of normal, we need to remember uh, how important these small businesses are to our community and help them in any way we can. Now, moving on to the second uh, silver lining, which is the uh, creativity that these small business owners have shown uh, during these uh, tough times. Uh, for example, uh, here in Evanston, our uh, movie theater has started doing a drive-in movie, uh, and they started doing it just days after all of these closures began. Uh, they, we've been able to go and see Jurassic Park, Jaws, Shrek, and other similar movies uh, while uh, not leaving the safety of our car and not endangering other people. Um, on a similar note, uh, restaurants or local restaurants uh, run by local people have started doing uh, takeout or, in some scenarios, even delivery, something that these small restaurants have never done and have never had to do before. And so the fact that they have been able to um, adapt and the fact that they have been able to uh, continue serving the community uh, despite all of these trials is um, frankly astonishing. And it's uh, really cool that we are able to see the uh, creativity of community come into play. So, remember, the silver lining in small business closures is that we begin to realize just how important to us they are. That's all for today. Remember, to laugh, live, and love. I'm Aiden McGuire, and this was Silver Lining.